were coming to the end of our time on Green Island. In fact, it would soon be time to go back to work, but not before having a few more exciting adventures. Already, we've enjoyed the great honor of exploring two small islands that we've long been curious of. And at the end of this episode, we're going to have another photography competition, and we need your help to decide who took the better photo. So stay tuned and welcome back to Vaughn's World. Good morning. It's our um, last morning in this hostel. We're leaving right now. Well, we're leaving our backpacks here. We're going for breakfast, but we will not be sleeping in this hostel any longer. And um, that's okay. Very cool place. It's like a bunch of shipping containers. <laughs> yeah. All stacked strategically, um, which doesn't sound cool, but it really, it is. It creates this little labyrinth of shipping containers in there. And then when you're inside one of them, where the beds are, it feels like you're in a trailer, like you're off the ground and you're just totally protected yeah. from everything. It's like really a cool. Bunker. Yeah. <laughs> so, worth checking out if you're looking for a place. Again, the lap maps link is in the description. Anyway, off to breakfast. Last day, day four. Woo! started the day off right with a dropping from the breakfast place and a fruit drink from our new favorite fruit stand. With the remaining hours left, we biked around the island once again, looking for anything we might have missed or that we skipped. To be honest, a lot of what we found was anticlimactic. We were looking for something special, a place that nobody goes. I don't know what you'd exactly call this but we were just driving along a road and it just, um, there's like a little tee off and it just comes down here. The parking lot's over there and it just leads to this. I'm not really sure what it's all about. There's like, you can almost stand in the water. It's a little bit too rough to go swimming. And it's like super sharp rocks in there. Uh, but it's cool, it's cute. Driving along that same road, we found a beach. It wasn't a good beach for weak swimmers like us, but it was nice to lay in the sun for a while. Wearing running shoes and blue jeans and jackets and hats, there were groups of people appropriately dressed for a Canadian winter who also enjoyed the beach. Though, I get the feeling they would have enjoyed it more on television from their hotel room. No bother, we went for a quick dip and continued driving, and that's when we came upon an empty trailhead that didn't seem to lead anywhere. It was unassuming and uninviting, and it led to the best place on the island. We saw some wild deer up ahead on the trail. Ollie and I just sat down for a while and watched them sniff around. Luckily, I got some footage on the camera. Incredibly, these deer are able to run through the thick, tropical forest with relative ease, following rough trails all throughout the island. We could see them watching us as we walked along the trail. At the end of the trail, it opened up to a sort of beach, another pool where the water gets trapped when the tide is in. For the first time on Green Island, there was a silence. No people, no music, no talking, yelling, spitting, or chewing. We were completely alone. Under the water, there was a bustling city of fish going about their day. Beautifully colored fish flamboyantly swam around us, getting only close enough to take a look and return to safety. If we had found this place on the first day, we likely would have set up our tent and stayed there. But sadly, it was time to leave. I don't know how to tell you to get here, but it's definitely the coolest spot on the island. <laughs> and we're totally alone. There's nobody. We've seen deer, we've seen the most beautiful little fish, and there's not a single person over here spitting, yelling, cooking barbecue, screaming, or wearing blue jeans. What music. Or playing music on their, on their phones. It's amazing. Okay. Yeah, the entrance just has warning signs and not really a parking lot. So I guess that scares people off. 
bucks. So worth it. Ollie and I found this wallet on the side of the road, so listen lady, we're gonna send it back to you with everything intact, but we're gonna put a note inside that says courtesy of Vaughn's World, and you better watch the video. If you're watching this video right now, you can thank Ollie in the comment section. Should I speak in Chinese? Sure. She might not understand. Hey, we found your If you go to Vaughn's World, watch our video. Uh, Hello. <laughs> I know that the world is in a state of utter disarray and that a lot of you are living vicariously through these videos. I can't help but point out the irony that Taiwan may be the freest country in the world right now, achieved chiefly by following the rules. It's not the first time the world has been sick of us, and it certainly won't be the last. We're the luckiest generation in comparison to pretty much every generation before us. And hey, if we're all gonna go down, I'm gonna do it with a little dignity. Smiling, eating, drinking with my friends, getting a little too sunburned, and giving the middle finger to the powers that let us all down. No whining and complaining on social media. I guess that might be easier to say while standing on a tropical island. The adventure will of course continue after we get off this island, so don't go too far. Our camping trip in Taroko was by all measures a complete failure, but still one of the best nights either of us have ever had. Hey, would it kill you to subscribe? See you in the next one folks and take care of each other, that's all you get. That's it folks, Green Island, you can see it going away in the distance, and uh, that's the end of this video, standing on the perfect spot on a pretty cool ferry. So keep watching, because in the next video we're going to probably go camping in Taroko, maybe, you'll see. Alright folks, see you in the next one. Okay, as promised, another photo competition wrap-up. Um, all you have to do is look at the two photos on your screen. I'll show you a photo A and I'll show you a photo B. I won't tell you whose they are. And then you just comment down below which one you like best, A or B. Okay? And um, right now you're looking at photo A. Wow, photo A. Enjoy, observe. Okay. And now photo B. Ooh, photo B. Very nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, take a second now. Vote down below whether you liked A or B better. And who went first last time? I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so then photo A. <laughs> photo A is my photo, and it is this one. And it's a picture of Ollie on the on the boat on the way home from Green Island on the way to Taidong, not home. Yeah, yeah. I am normal, so I get seasick. This guy here, I don't know like what he's made out of, but <laughs> does not get nauseous or dizzy at all. And the waves, you know, they're crazy. I told you it's the beer. Fruit. <laughs> Whatever it Fruit. is, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> but I, I do love that photo. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really a good one. Uh, okay, and photo B. Photo B which one? It is this one. Oh, uh, yes. Um, yeah, and it's basically, I think, my first or my second successful photo after Alex here taught me how to take astrophotography. And, um, yeah, so I thought about it, like, could I stay still? 
and take this photo and I did. It came out pretty okay. So Yeah, it's a beautiful photo. Yeah, it was nice. A nice mm -hmm. night. It almost looks like it's evening, but it's actually like midnight. Yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like to the naked eye, that photo was taken in complete pitch black. Myth. Like mm -hmm. you couldn't see your the, the edge of your hand. Right, right. But when you use the camera like that, it, it really you can still see that there's blue colors and oranges. And yeah. It's crazy. I didn't even know there were clouds <laughs> yeah. so far away. Yeah. yeah. Good choice. Thank you. Okay. If you're a member, then again, you know how this works. We will give you the, what is it called? Pint in a picture. <laughs> I'll crack open a pint, and then uh, we'll show you some pictures that are more about the story than they are the photo. Right. And we'll talk about those. There's a few good ones. Um, the rest of you who are not members, well, you can become members if you want. And if you don't want to, that's okay. Stay tuned, because in the next episode, we're going back to, what did we do? Taidong, we went to Hualien. Yeah, we saw Jason again. Yeah. I think we spent one night at the hostel and then we went camping in Taropu Gorge. Yeah, which was awesome. It was awesome, but it was not... <laughs> awesome? Yeah. It was fun, but it was not what you think. Yeah. So, stay tuned. <laughs> yeah. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye-bye!